Welcome back to the Urban Permaculture Garden. It is June 25th today, and it's a beautiful evening. The sun is setting, and it uh, it's warming up now. It's been a, it did some pretty crazy rains, and for the past few days, it's been really, really nice out. And it feels like the summer, the summer is starting to arrive, and hopefully the rain will slow down a bit because it's been nuts this year. Either way, I thought I'd do another update because the sun and the rain has been making things boom. As you can see, the mint garden is doing fantastic. Got lots of mints going. There's the lamb's ear. It's flowering. Looks good. The other mints over here, strawberry mint. We got the chickpeas. The chickpeas are doing good. You can see them there. That's one of the strawberry spinach. Super weird looking thing. See how that goes. See what comes from that. This is that, uh, that, uh, parsley. It's flowering. It's trying to. So we'll get some, uh, seeds from that. And sorry if I sound a little stuffed up. I'm actually just getting over another cold. I've been getting sick a lot this year. I don't know if it's just from... Uh, everybody coming out and about now not wearing masks all that kind of stuff we're all getting hit by colds and stuff but I've been sick a lot but I'm doing better so that's good either way there's popcorn got the popcorn here it's doing okay it's starting to get shaded now because these foliage have grown exponentially look at the size of the sorrels insane crazy and we got chamomile and the grapevine is doing well there too so Looking good, looking good. And in here, for the food forest garden, we actually had some strawberries that were ready. You can see them down there. Look at them, all the strawberries. There was a few that were ready, but they were getting, something was chewing on them, so I just ate those, and they were super good, super tasty. So, we're gonna get some strawberries. Our raspberries are doing great. Lots of them. I think we're gonna have a lot of raspberries this year for sure because there's so much it's ridiculous And uh, you can see the hollyhocks Let me jump up here The hollyhocks have been doing good. I've been trimming the bottom leaves to let in more sunlight to the other plants and it uh, Helps push the energy up into the hollyhocks because I want them to get really nice and tall. So they're looking cool Speaking of sunflowers too, giant sunflowers are doing good. You can see the uh, little blueberries, We're getting some blueberries. So, oh yeah, I wanted to show you. Well, this echinacea is getting nice and tall, but the uh, the currants are starting to ripen. Let's see in there. Some of the currants, they're getting ripe. They're not quite ready yet. This one might be actually taste test. Whoa, a little sour. I think it might not be just ready yet. Oh, that's pretty good. The rose, wild rose, we've been harvesting the rose petals from it. The gigantic rhubarbs. Still still going. Still haven't harvested them. They're still going. We're having lots of these wildflowers popping up now. And we actually had a really pretty uh, poppy that I didn't get to... Um, I didn't get to show on camera, but it bloomed and it was really pretty. But it looks like we got more coming, so you never know. Maybe I'll post a picture on the Instagram. Over here we have the Anasazi corn. It's doing really good. Looking beautiful. Doing its thing next to the random tomato. For our pumpkins. All the beans are looking good. Watered them earlier. And uh, you can see their flowers are starting, so we're going to get some beans soon. So that will be nice. Excited for that. Their onions are still doing good. All hanging out, doing their thing. Don't know who's honking, but someone's honking. And check out the carrots. They're so cool. See their flowers are starting. They have so many seeds from these. Excited for that. We'll grow lots of carrots next year. 
for sure. All right, and then here we have the the cucumbers. They're doing okay. Honestly, all my cucumber plants, even in my other garden bed, they're kind of lacking this year. It might not be a year for them. But the peas, on the other hand, look at these. You have so many coming in. It's more over there, so I'm excited for that. So many peas. Gorgeous. I love them. And I transplanted uh, the one rose bush in here. I'm not sure if I showed that. I don't think I did, but I the one that was stuck in the corner, transplanted him here. I hope he does better in here. So uh, I just removed all the weeds, and I did plant tobacco in here originally, but I don't think they're growing. So I was like, why not? Just do something else. Try to keep this guy going. So the random edible mapachos, a whole bunch of them. Those transplanted, transplanted tobaccos. Not doing too bad. Pretty good. And in here, look at the size of these tomatoes. All the tomato plants are starting to boom now. And these tobaccos are looking good. Looking good. We got the uh, Heavenly Blue Morning Glories. This is a bunch of uh, ashwagandha. So much ashwagandha. A bit too much. But, oh well. See, these are the other cucumbers. They're looking sad as well. And these are the uh, okra. They're looking pretty sad. Honestly, a lot of the warm, the real hot weather plants seem to have been struggling this year because I'll show you over here. I mean, there's all the gorgeous tomato plants doing very well. And these are all, like, it seems to be a really good year for tomatoes, because these are all the gold nugget, gold nugget tomatoes, so I'll have to brace them up, because they're kind of heavy from the, uh, just me just watering them, but, see, these are the, the, uh, um, the basils, which really like warm weather, so he's a bit there, but they've been really struggling this year, they've been really struggling, it's just weird, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We might get some basil, but it's not looking good for a lot of the real warm, heat-loving plants this year. So we haven't had much heat. Oh, pop off this. There you go. There's another one right there. There's some melons. We'll see how those go. This is our jalapeno. I hope he does well. I'd really like to have some jalapenos. Over here. Hey, it looks like we got... Oh, there's some bugs on it, but... Some Spanish. Spanish, those aren't seeds. Those are the male ones. These ones have seeds. Cool. Well, we might have some spinach seeds. These are the cumin. I don't know if they're doing very well in here. Honestly, this one, they look like they're dying. So, might have to try again another time, another year with these, but. Well, there's that weird mushroom going in there. Look at that. It's a weird mushroom right there. Cool. Interesting. Well, maybe they're dying. Who knows? But uh, strawberry spinach is doing good. Looking crazy weird. And the uh, valerian seems to be doing okay. I hope they do good. There's a weed in there. I would really like to try some of the valerian, valerian root. Have a little bit at least. That'd be neat. Here's our big... Um, artichoke boy seems to be doing okay so far. So that's good. Um. Oh, we have the random uh, trees growing that I planted. This one seems to be kind of sad. It was doing okay. None others are coming up, which is interesting. We'll wait and see. Maybe they still will. Look at the salad garden. Look at the size of the pak choy seed pods. Holy. Holy. So, yeah, pretty much the whole salad bed has gone up and bolted. Pretty much. So, besides some of the actual, like, lettuce down there, hasn't really, because I need to reorient next year. I've learned that the sun, uh, the way the, how tall these guys get, the uh, 
mustards, I need to uh, place them differently for uh, planting next year so the, the lettuce can have more sunlight because they've just completely blocked them from the sun. So we're going to try that a bit differently next year. And we have our uh, garlic, which I've already plucked the scapes off. And I cooked some for dinner today, which is good. Cooked it with some shrimp. It's fantastic! So they're doing good. I'm excited for the garlics. Happy that they're doing good. There's a potato in there. A random potato. Cool, cool. Lots of oregano. So much. This actually might... They call it oregano. It might be a certain type of oregano. Wondering if it was like Mora Jam. Could be wrong. If anybody knows uh, what it might be, let me know in the comments. Because it's not regular oregano. So it's not Greek oregano at least. So there's the, the salvias are doing really pretty. They look good. We have the chamomile here next to the giant giant sorrels. It's potatoes, 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 potatoes. Doing good. Excited for lots of potatoes. That's going to be a fun harvest video in the future. We have the random uh, uh, ah, cilantro growing. It's cool. I'm going to let them grow well. Um, get the seeds. Yeah, make some coriander spice. Be cool. Narrow relief. Uh, narrow relief plantain. Other side of the mints. The sage is doing really well next to the Greek oregano. Yeah, you just smell this and you can tell right away that's Greek oregano. Now this. Pretty sure this is the uh, Jimson weed. It's looking a little funky looking. Don't know if it's like growing good or if it's not growing good. I don't know what's going on with it. Looks kind of funny. We'll see. Oh, look at all, oh, they're all heavy because of uh, the um, watering, but that's the, uh, that's the good old mugwort, mugwort, looking good, kind of sporadic, but really happy that I got mugwort, I'm really excited to use it, so, look at our, look at the lavenders, beautiful. I'm really happy about the lavenders. We're going to harvest a lot of lavender this year. Uh, we got the lion's ear. Doing good, doing good. Looking pretty. Lots of the African dream root. Again, a lot of them are really sporadically planted. I might, I'll might, i look through them as they get a bit bigger because they're kind of small right now. We'll just see. I'm excited about them either way. I just, they need big roots, and they won't grow super big roots if they're so next to each other. But a lot of people plant them and let them grow for a few years and then harvest them. But I can't really do that here because of the, uh, the weather we got. We get the crazy winters. So, yeah. I'm going to have to, uh, see, like this guy. I probably just killed him, but we'll move some, right? I'm just going to stick him there and see. See what happens. There you go. Marigold, giant sunflower, sun gold, lots of holy basil. I'm surprised the holy basil's doing good because not a lot of the basil's have done good. But holy basil's doing good. See lime basil struggling a bit more. You guys are noisy. Freaking magpies, I tell ya. And we got, uh, this is the Shingiku. It's super weird. Again, I haven't tried it yet. i am just been watching it, seeing how it grows. Very interesting. Still waiting for the Brugmansia, the Orange Glory Datura. It hasn't popped up yet. It takes a long time, so I'm really hoping this seed was good because I only put one seed in here because they're big seeds. Um, we'll just see how it goes. I'd love to see it. But I have a few seeds. I, I still have some seeds left, so... If it doesn't work out this year, we'll be planting Bergmansia next year. Uh, in this pot, I put some marshmallow because I wanted to grow some more marshmallow, and I think those are them. So, got some marshmallow in there. 
The other ones that I planted over in the food forest garden aren't don't seem to be really popping up, so put them in here. And they look like they're coming up, so that's exciting. And over in the random seed garden. That's oh, completely overgrown all over the place. That's some random stuff. Look at the uh, hops. The vines are just going all over the place now. We're definitely going to get some hops uh, pods from them this year. Cones, whatever you want to call them. Going to be cool. Cannabis. Doing really good. Looking pretty. Still just the one. Nothing's come up in there. So, I'm thinking we're just going to have the one plant this year. Which is okay. That is okay. At least we have one. Very pretty. And a bunch of mints growing by the compost. I did a ton of weeding. As you can see the big piles. Um, just weeding in the paths, really. It wasn't even weeding in, in the garden itself. The paths. Because, like, look at this. It's just been raining so much. It's been impossible to keep up with these weeds. They've been crazy. Crazy. Like, I've never seen these things so tall before. Look at that. They're taller than the fence. Either way, I believe that's it in the garden. Uh, as of right now. As of June 25th. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. I did also just upload a Morel Mushroom Foraging video we did. So make sure you check that out. Um, I'll put the link at the top. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching uh, this episode of the Urban Permaculture Garden. And we'll see you again soon with another update when things change. Thank you so much for liking and commenting and subscribing. Robotic voice. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.